Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Quake, Mission Pack 1, Scourge of Armagon, the Nightmare Difficulty. We are doing all maps in this episode in one video, and this is the second episode, and we're starting with the first level, Ancient Realms. Let's begin. First things first, let's jump to the double barrel shotgun and use it against this big boy. Once he's good and dead, potentially jibbed, we can grab some more shells and also shoot this button right here. And a watery secret is now accessible. Let's go for a swim right here and surface up around this part and get 100 health. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go into this area and meet two new enemies, the gremlins. You don't want them anywhere close to you. But there's also the ogre. Yeah, he's back. And so is the knight. When we go into this area, we'll be introduced to two ogres jumping down in a rather dramatic fashion. You can just deal with them like that. Grab some more shells, spin the wheel to open the door. And when you grab the nail gun here, you have to deal with two fiends trying to attack you. A pretty deadly trap. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Even if you get beat up quite a bit. Anyways, let's deal with these two ogres up here, who also make this little ambush pretty deadly. And push this brick to go into the secret area with a proximity gun. Let's use it against this big boy, girl, thing, whatever. Yeah, it's a Vor, and they're back, and um, their projectiles aren't as annoying as they are in the original Quake's Nightmare. Thank goodness. Anyways, after dealing with the Death Knight, you can go around here and deal with some more enemies, including, but not limited to, some knights. If you go up the stairway, you'll have to deal with an enemy like the Ogre and maybe some gremlins around here. And another ogre by the silver door. Keep the location of the silver door in mind. We're going to be visiting it very soon. Anyways, let's kill these fellas. Admittedly, I blew that guy up a bit too close to me. Well, that's fine. We'll work with it. Let's kill the gremlins before they try to do anything funny. And when we go over here, we got the horn of conjuring. And look, we have ourselves a pet puppy. Hey. Let's go down this stairway shoot this switch to get a secret, push this button, grab the cells and the quad damage in the secret area, blow up the boar with our shotgun, we're just gun him down, whatever one works, whatever one happens, let's kill the shambler right here with our super shotgun, and let's go right around here, clear out some knights and go into this area in particular to deal with the death knight and go down this hallway to deal with some more enemies, including but not limited to knights and ogres. Okay, maybe it is limited to knights and ogres, but only in this hallway in particular. Anyways, once you're done with your little quad rampage, you can go around here and kill this last ogre by the green armor, the teal green armor or whatever. And you can push this button and get the silver key accessible. Also, shoot that button as well, so you can go into this area and get this secret with 100 health. We may have taken a lot of damage. And we might need a little bit of protection, but when we go into here, we won't necessarily need it because there are some scrags that will try to ambush you, but it's nothing the nail gun can't handle. Anyways, I'm going to clean up the rest of the knights here. You can probably hear them running around. Usually they're around the bottom level, but sometimes they move upstairs. Or always were upstairs. I'm going to grab the green armor real quick. Just for a little bit of potential extra protection, you know? But after they're all good and dead, we can go around here and get a secret that I neglected to grab earlier. Because if you look at this wall, it's a different texture. So when you hit it, you can go into here and grab the red armor. And I might as well grab it now so I can potentially waste it for a future endeavor here. <laughs> You'll see. Anyways, here comes a fiend that tries to ambush you. Oh no. Jumps right at you. But... Nothing the super shotgun or the grenade launcher can't handle. Just make sure he's not too close. Anyway, shoot right there and shoot at the ogre. Shoot here again, potentially. Just make sure you blow up this little uh, thing here so you can get the empathy shields. And also, after you deal with the scrags, you can shoot the window right here to grab the ring of shadows. Now let's get the drop on this fella. Look at you, the loser. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I have the empathy shields. Even if you hit me, I'm gonna damage you. But I ran out of empathy shields. I have no more empathy. So let's waste our power up, or rather our armor, on these fellas. 
That works, I suppose. And since we have invulnerability, I'm just gonna go right in this guy's face and use up all my shield. And I'm gonna stand right around here, I suppose, because of that. <laughs> anyway, shoot that button right there and a barrier has been lowered. I'll show you where that is soon enough. But anyways, we're dealing with this fiend. And he's good and dead. There's two enemies left. I'll show you where they are very soon. Yeah, I used up all the red armor there. Big whoop. Because I'm a hardcore gamer. You could potentially save it for any next levels that you want to go through. But I don't really care. Might as well give myself an extra cutting edge. But anyways, here's a secret exit. Yeah, that barrier where we got the proximity gun, it's now opened and we can now go through the secret exit on the first level of the second episode. Here we go. Alright, so that's Ancient Realms. And, yep, what an introduction. Gives you all of the recurring enemies coming back at you. But, that's enough about that. We are going right back into some more endeavors in the next level. The secret level. So let's go. The Grunless Domain. Bihan. So the first thing we're going to do is grab all the ammo in the super shotgun. Use it to kill this fella. We're going to use the grenade launcher we got from the previous level to grenade these guys to death. Get some beautiful jibs out of that, potentially. Go around here, look at this ogre up in this caged area. Just blow him up like that, shoot the wall or hit it with the axe to get this secret with yellow armor. That's why I didn't care about losing the red armor in the previous level. Anyways, let's go into this area, deal with these little boys. The knights and the scrags. And when we go around here, after dealing with the rest of the scrags, we can see my least favorite Quake 1 enemy. Why is that? Because if I hit them with any splash damage, they get knocked down and no amount of grenades will stop them from uh, not being jibbed. It's annoying. Can't wait to see the Wake 1 zombie jibbing fans defend that. Same imbeciles that love vertical recoil on their machine guns in Quake 2. Anyways, enough insulting people. Let's just go right back into it. Watch out for the gremlins there by this area. Let's stop him from resurrecting or rather making a new gremlin or whatever it is that's going on there. And deal with these fellas in this area. Grab some more health, go down here, and let's use the super nail gun we got from this area to deal with this big boy and this one too. Let's go right around here, deal with this ogre. Push the button to lower a barrier, and we shot this button up here, so we can grab this right here, shoot this one too. And while that's moving around, we're going to deal with these scrags. And now we can go up here, deal with this ogre, and grab the secret thunderbolt. Now we can finally go down into this area, blow up some zombies, and here's why I hate zombies. Because when they're knocked down like that, whether it's like from splash damage, you can't hit them with anything. It's annoying. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's deal with the gremlins first things first, so they don't steal our weapons. Thankfully, I haven't demonstrated that yet. It's annoying when they do that, but it's kind of like a good kind, at least in me. Anyways, let's see let's use zombies. Please get out of here, zombies. Please actually get jibbed when I shoot an explosive weapon your way. Anyways, here's a little tricky section. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's a scrag just in there waiting for you to come into this area. If you time it right, you should be able to get out of there. Primarily, you just want to avoid getting hit by the first one. Anyways, here's a rocket launcher, finally. And a wetsuit, which we're going to use here soon. But also, we're killing these big boys and shooting that button up there, if you haven't already. We're going for a swim up around here to grab the quad damage. 
not the most useful one, but it still can work potentially. Let's shoot this. If you want, you can surface up from here. You can also go into this area to get a secret. Which is what I'm doing right now. Just tag it so I can get the secret Mjolnir. So if you know anything about Quake's development history, this was going to be in the game, but... They changed the theme of Quake, but they brought it back for this mission pack. Anyways, let's go into here and use the Mjolnir with quad damage. Just destroy everything just like that. How about that? What do you think about that, Scrag? You're not doing any thinking at all, are you? Well, I grabbed the wetsuit, but I can also just shoot this well to go into here and grab the secret with uh, red armor. Build the stuff knight too. And let's go back up through this area. I might have grabbed the wetsuit a little bit too soon, but it, it still works for me. Because we can just go right back through here. I mean, I'll swim a little slower as a result of me not having the wetsuit, but usually I don't drown here. But with uh, some creative jumping, you can just make your way through this part. Anyway, so there's some ogres and some rot fish in this area. You can deal with them like so. And since you have the rocket launcher, you might as well use that too. And follow the arrows into this area. Right up to here. Watch out for the zombies who will still be annoying. There's a fiend there as well. And look, he knocked down some zombies. So that means I can't knock them down myself or jib them. My favorite. I really wish they would have changed that for the re-release. It's not too late, Night Dive. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. But anyways, after killing everything in this area, you can grab some more ammo, which I'm going to do right now. And I have the Thunderbolt still, and I have some cells, so let's use it against this big boy. Oh, there you go. Poor fellas all dead. What a shame. Anyways, we can go back through here and up this area. And now, you can go down through this part, and this one, and open this door. It doesn't have a gold key indicator, but it requires a gold key to pass. Anyways, I'm gonna zap the rest of these fellas down. And gun these ones down too. And over, hey, I have a rocket launcher. It's my comfort weapon. Anyways, after dealing with those fellas, we can go and shoot this face. Grab the ring of shadows. These guys already saw us, so... Not much we can do about that. Anyways, let's kill this fella. Grab any ammunition you happen to need. Go right around here, let's kill this fiend. And I'm gonna use the nail gun to kill this big boy. Super nail gun, even. Oh, there you go. And that's the ogre down. And the shambler down. And the last two enemies are right here. Just blow them up like that and you should be good to go. And that's the Gremlins Domain, the secret level. We got a lot of stuff out of it too, including the other new weapon of Scourge of Armagon. And there it is. Nothing too complicated, I'd say. Some of the secrets are a bit out there, but, you know. Most of them are kind of easy to find because they're just like buttons in the... Like hidden crevices, not too hidden for any normal person to usually not notice, but some people don't notice it. Oh well. Anyways, on to the next level. Back to a regular map rotation. Let's go. So here we are at the Black Cathedral. When we're done with it, we'll make it the Black and Blue Cathedral because we're gonna put a bruise on this level's ego. We're just gonna blow up these Death Knights, grab all the weaponry here, and we should be good to go. After that, we're gonna blow this fellow up, and there's a scrag up here. I'm gonna use a basic nail gun on him, because why not? Over here is an ogre. We're just gonna blow him up and grab his rockets, grab some nails if you happen to need them, and right around here, we'll go up this stairway. Blow this fellow up. Watch out for the death knight up around this part. Just kill him like so. And you're good to go. Let's go. Grab some more ammo if you happen to need it. I'm gonna use a nail gun on these Nathan folks. A super nail gun, as a matter of fact. And use it for these fellas, too. Such a powerful feeling weapon. Anyways, after you kill them, you can grab the hunter health and the rocket launcher potentially, if you want ammo for it. And you want to focus on the boar after dealing with the death knights in front of you. Or you can focus on the boar first. Either one really works. 
but when all is done, you can push this button. And I'm going to break out the Thunderbolt to zap this fella. Then I can switch to the Super Nail Gun and finish him off like so. And we should be good to go. Alright, in this room we'll fight a Death Knight and there are two ogres on each corner. There's also some Sprags, I believe. We'll try to inconvenience you, but they're no big deal, really. Look at this guy, he just blew up like a nincompoop. Yeah, just one Sprag. Anyways, after we're done with this area, we're going to go over here and blow these fellas up. Blow all of them up. Just like that. Grab this stuff. And let's take a little trip in here and deal with this knight. Go down here, deal with this ogre. Push this button and we can go back to where we were before. If you want to grab shells and other stuff you want to get in that area. Anyways, we killed the death knight there. And we're going to use this book. Just push it right into there. It's sticking out. And you can get the secret with quad damage. We're going to use it right away once we get into this area. Hello, ogre. Goodbye, ogre. We're going to zap some fellas while we have this ammo. And the rockets too. Since we have those, we pick them up from the ogres. And we just destroy that fella. We'll be back here in a little bit. But first things first, I'm going to go into this area and clear out these and poops. Especially you, big boy. And you. And you too. And you. And that's a pretty decent use of quad, I'd say. Anyways, we woke up the ogre. We'll be back there for him later. We're just cleaning up the rest of these guys. Because there's usually like a scrag that hangs around this little stairway. But also, we came back here so we can put this book in here so we can go into this secret area. And it will give us a pentagram of protection. We're going to use that for this next encounter, you'll see. Just doing some sick jumps to get some time effective use out of it. Alright, first thing first, we're gonna kill the fiends. And the ogres. Get some more ammo while we're at it. And when you jump here, you can quickly go over here to tell Frag the Shambler. You don't even have to do any too overtly complicated bunny hops. You can just kinda just jump over there quickly. But anyways, we shot this wall, and we can get the secret with the Ring of Shadows. And we'll, we'll probably be back there for some more ammo. And pushing the button that summoned in the Shambler allows us to go into this area, so let's just clear it out. I'm gonna use the explosives to deal with these fellas. And there's a Death Knight here. Just blow him up like so, and you're good to go. So now that we've done all that, we can go right around here, blow these guys up, especially you, Mr. Ogre. I need your rockets, your explosives, your grenades, whatever you want to call them. They change depending on whatever weapon I'm using. Anyway, so let's kill the Vork, guarding the Silver Key. Let's use his uh, projectile to blow up the Ogre a little bit. Just a little bit of an explosion on him. There's some more ammo you can grab right around here, and also, we're going to grab the silver key. When we do that, some scrags will appear. Nothing too tough, nothing you can't handle. But we're not going to take the portal, instead we're going to go down through here to deal with these two ogres that appear. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. Just to go down into this area, grab some more ammo. This place has a lot of it. And also, well, the gold door is there, but we need to open the silver one. I'm going to show you a way to get to it. But first, we have to look to the heavens for the answer. So shoot that, and you'll activate this little area here. But don't shoot Cheesy Crust, because uh, after a while, he'll uh, get really angry at you. And try to zap you like that. Not ideal. Oh, well. Well, shooting that button up there will allow you to go down into here and get this secret with... Mega Health, it also gives you a shortcut to the Silver Key area. A more ideal one, I'd say. Because you have health at this point, which you probably might need for this fella. And when you grab the Gold Key, these fellas. Let's deal with them. And we should be good to go. 
to enter the golden door. So if you have 94 out of 105 kills, you should be ready for this next part. As you've gotten all the kills up to this point. So let's deal with the Death Knight, the Ogre. There should be a, a knight here. Actually, two of them and a boar in this little area here. Be careful around this area. It says to watch your step. And I'll show you where you can watch your step if you want to be really precise about it. I think I kind of just bunny hopped through it in the actual video from before. Anyways, three into here, uh, four into here. I believe this many into this one. And around this little part, this is how you get to the stairway. You just go around this area, push this button, and then a few scrags will spawn. And if you're like me and use the rocket launcher to kill the scrags, odds are you will probably have damaged this little stone fixture in the wall there. Which will allow you to go to this area. It's a secret. And it's another shortcut to the end of the level, which is right at the start. So we end where we begin. And there we go. That's uh, the Black Cathedral. And yeah, it's pretty fun. But anyways... It was a pretty lengthier level too, but we managed to get all the kills and all the secrets. So let's get on to the next level, shall we? So here we are in the catacombs, and when we grab the cells, we'll turn around immediately because gremlins will appear behind us. So let's kill all eight of them. Kind of like this. Now that they're all good and dead, you can grab the laser cannon, jump through this area, get the drop on this boar. Let's get them like that. You can grab the double-barreled shotgun if you need more shells. I'm going to use a rocket launcher to kill these fellas over here. And when you grab the cells here, look up and you'll see some ogres. Let's get rid of them. I'll save the red armor for later. For now, though, we're going to go through this area, grab the nails, grab the shells if you need them, and when you grab the big elf, turn around and watch out for this fiend. Now let's get rid of these little fiends, these gremlins. And now we can jump up these rocks and get some more cells. And that's a secret for whatever reason. Whatever. Let's just go through here, grab the rockets and the pentagram of protection. We're going to use it against these fellas. And when we turn around, there's more of them. I'm just running right up to their faces and blowing them up. Watch out for that fiend there in the score here. Make sure you grab the rockets here in particular because for some reason if you don't grab them, the shambler won't spawn. Just kill them like so and you're good to go. I'm gonna grab all this other stuff here and blow up these rumblings in this area. Watch out for the boars to the left. And you should be good to go. Let's just jump all the way over here Bump our head on this torch, which will open up this area. Go forward and turn around and kill these four death knights. I like to use a thunderbolt on them. There's some more ammo for your nail gun, including a super nail gun pickup. Let's get rid of the rest of these death knights here. Just a rocket bonanza right here. I say, why not? They give you enough rockets to do this. More than enough, I'd say. But anyways, let's continue on into this area. Here's a proximity gun. And also over here is a horn of conjuring. That's, and we get a death knight out of it. Well, usually. Either way, I'm going to get rid of this four and this other one. And now I'm going to have the death knight run around like an idiot. While I deal with this floor uh, or shambler, even. There are floors here, though. Which I'll also deal with using explosives this time. Actually, quite a few of them running around this here part. Once you've cleared out all the floors on the battlements, you'll be able to get yourself a grenade launcher and some more pickups. And I'm gonna go back here finally so I can pick up the red armor. 
and some more cells that I left behind. I know, backtracking cringe. But whatever. You can just take a shortcut for here if you are careful enough. And of course, you can practice your bunny hopping here. And I'm gonna put you down. You did not help me at all, you nincompoop. Usually he helps you with the vores here, but eh, it doesn't always work out that way. So once you've like double checked around these here parts to see if there aren't any stragglers running around, you can go down the stairway that you opened up by pressing the button on the floor there. After dealing with the ogre, you want to shoot this button to get 100 health and shoot up here so you can kill several gremlins. Make sure they're all good and dead. Then you can kill these zombies good and dead and go into this area. To the left there's two, or rather to the right there's two, to the left there's three. Let's get rid of these two boars here as well. Get them out of the way. And these zombies in the caskets. And also, there's a hunter health pickup right there. We're going to use it to help deal with these fellas. Look at these creatures. We have 200 health. Of course, not all good things last forever, but we'll make do. Anyways, going up this lift after dealing with the Scrags and the Fiends, we can grab the Silver Key. There's no funny enemy to ambush you whenever you grab it. So we can just go unimpeded into the Silver Key area, which is right here, where the three zombies were. Now, when you grab the Mjolnir, you'll have to deal with some Fiends appearing. You can just hammer them like that if you want, or you can use explosives, or you can use a shotgun, depending on whatever ammo you have on hand. Anyways, after going up the stairs, you can jump through this area, go up around and down through this part, get this secret area with the empathy shields, and that's the last secret of the map. Come on, you bastard. You want to try to damage me? I have the Thunderbolt, and you don't. Anyways, you can go down there if you want, but I'm going to go through here, kill these fellas. In fact, I'm going to use the Super Shotgun on them. Nothing too complicated. They are guarding some more red armor, which I'm going to pick up right now. And you can go back down here if you want, but I'm going to finally go into a new area, which is right around here. It's a little bit of a risky one, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Anyways, dropping down to here, we're gonna do a little bit of light platforming. You'll be introduced to spike mines, which are kind of dumb sometimes like that. Just jump across these and you should be good to go. But whenever you go into this area, you want to watch out because there are shamblers here. And this is a very noisy area, so... I'm going to have to speak loudly in order to get through. Watch out for the shamblers. They will ruin your day if you let them. Watch out for the zappers too, the loud zappers. I cannot hear a ding dong thing. Watch out for the spike mines as well. Just let them run into walls or something like that. Yeah, there you go. You can even jump over them. That makes things easier. I'm going to draw the yellow armor. Because I feel like it. Anyways. We got the gold key. And now we can go through this portal. And we've killed just about everything here. Just about. So we can drop down into this area finally. It leads back into the gold door area. Which means we can go through here. Kill these zombies. We might take a little bit of damage. But it's all good. Because when we go into this area. We'll kill. Some shamblers. There's two of them. Come on, big boy. Come on, fat. There you go. And look, we got all the kills this time. Isn't that beautiful? Well, the coffin is your exit. So let's go through it. Yeah, in my uh, original playthrough, I missed the kill. And I think it wasn't even a bugged kill. I think I probably didn't even grab the... Uh, what should we call it? The rocket launcher ammo by the lava moat there. I think I might have, and I've probably killed the Shambler. It's been a while since I played this, like, almost three years at this point. 
But, you know, we did it now, and this uh, re-release fixes a lot of broken kills in a lot of levels. I think it fixes, like, all of them, maybe. But anyways, that's it for this level. So let's get on to the next one, shall we? Wise from your grave. All right, now we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna grab the grenade launcher and just go back while that spike mine blows itself up. Like the nincompoop it is. Anyways, let's go into here and deal with this ogre. Grab his rockets, and we're gonna use those rockets to jump up here to activate that area. Let's uh, grab the Horn of Hardring and use it to have the knight immediately die on these ogres. You know, because it's funny. And when you grab the double barrel shotgun, you'll have to watch out because these graves will open up, these coffins even. And one will have a fiend that's just going to stand there, and a zombie that you can jib like that. Anyways, if you need more ammunition and health and whatnot, you can pick it up from there. But when all is done, you can go through this portal to take you to the secret area with the Mjolnir pickup. Very nice. Now let's go back through this area, and as you can see, a fiend has appeared. We can just get rid of him like that. There's another fiend to the right. We're just going to get rid of him too. And let's carry on into this next area. And there may be a spike mine here, but sometimes it likes to blow up prematurely and take out one of the dogs and maybe even the Death Knight around that area. Usually not the Death Knight, but definitely one of the dogs. Anyways, let's get rid of that Death Knight and the other dog here, and we're good to go. So let's stop by this area to deal with this spike mine, and let's jump up using this vent to go around here. And do another jump right around this part. Grab the rockets. Do another sick jump back to where we were. And let's move this lever. So we can go into this area, grab the pentagram of protection. That's a secret area. Amazingly, it didn't tag well for me. Whatever. Let's just carry on, shall we? Right around here is where we'll find some fellas. We're just going to blow them up like so. Since we have the pentagram of protection, we're going to use that. And we're going to go for a little swim in the lava. Wake up all these fellas. Make sure you actually do that. And the level lord is impressed with your endeavors. Anyways, let's get rid of this fella. And go down here. Do some sick jumps all the way right around the easier parts. Get rid of the spike line. Go up here. Get rid of the boar while you still have quad damage if you can. Otherwise, kill him with your rocket launcher. However you want. Let's drop down and get rid of this gremlin looking creature. And there may be one wandering around here. Yep. Because I rushed towards the boar and I kind of ignore the gremlins for the time being. Till now. Anyways, let's open up the silver door. Watch out for the spike mine up there. There's another one to the right in the darkness. There's some death knights guarding the third one. Just blow them up or shoot them down like so. And let's get rid of this thing. I should have used the nail gun, but... Letting it go to a wall works as well. Anyways, Death Knight dead. When you grab the Thunderbolt, turn around immediately to kill this Shambler. And then you can grab the cells. And what I'm going to do right now is go back to the area with the green armor. Yeah, right back to the start. Just to have a little bit of extra protection. Because we use it all up on uh, the pentagram. Whoops. While we're here, we can also grab some shells and some health if you happen to need that. Good place to practice bunny hopping too, I suppose. Whenever you stop hopping, you can just let go of that forward key and just... turn left and right while holding your strafe keys. Takes a bit of practice, but it works. Anyways, let's just ignore all these things. And go right here and deal with the Shambler. Yeah, that place is easier than it might seem. You kind of go in between them and all's well. Anyways, let's get rid of the Vor and his zombie friends. Now oh, that thing's good and dead. We can go around here, grab the empathy shields. I'm going to shoot once so I can grab these shells. And now I can deal with the fiends. And if they damage me, I damage back. Whether it's through my weapons or not, because I have the empathy shields. Anyways, after dealing with all this nonsense, you can go through this area. Watch out for the gremlins. As a teleporter, just like the secret one. Except it's mandatory. <laughs> but anyways, kill all the gremlins here. If you want, you can grab the Ring of Shadows. 
you should be good to go for the next area here, which is right around here. Yeah, check this place out. Yeah, this is a place where you might have woken up an ogre or two before. This deal with them like so, you can use the laser cannon if you want. Makes me feel like a stormtrooper, except I'm actually accurate. We can drop down into this area, grab the armor, and then get out. That button isn't shootable, despite how it seems. You just go through it like that, and you're good to go. Anyways, now we have the gold key. We can wake up these guys and blow them all up. And once you killed everything here, you should have 66 out of 72 kills. So the last six kills are in this final area here. That requires a gold key. So let's just walk through here, grab the proximity gun, and make our way back to where we were before. Watch out for this fiend. And oh, it got telefragged. That's beautiful. That worked for me. Usually you'll have to kill him the hard way, but, you know, telefragging him works too. Or having the enemies telefrag themselves. That's even better. Well, mistakes and the miracles. And hey, look at that. We got all the kills on this level. No glitchy things. Nothing. We got everything. They are all fixed. Thank you for this re-release. Alright, so that's everything there. And it feels so great to see 72 out of 72 kills there. <laughs> Wonderful, right? Well, we are going right into the next level. And I'll see you there. Alright, Mortem's Keep. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the nail gun and the shells. Then we're going to blow up this core. Then grab the nails and go into this area. Blow both of these spike mines up using a single nail shot, maybe two. Watch out for this fiend right here. Maybe a misfire in that general direction will jib some zombies, but either way, you want to get rid of these gremlins too. Should be... There you go. As you can see, some cells appeared up there after you kill the gremlins, but we're going to deal with them later. First things first, we're going to go down here and deal with these zombies, because I can't stand these zombies. Even if you go up here and see two spawns, you can just blow them up like that. No big deal. But the zombies, if you hit them with splash damage and they get knocked down, that's why I hate them more than spawns. Anyways, let's access this secret area. There's actually two of them. One is right there with the nails, and the other isn't here, surprisingly. Rather, it's right here with this red armor. We'll pick it up later. For now, though, we're going to grab this other secret. And since we use the lever, it shows off this uh, spike mine. Likewise, with this area, another spike mine will teleport in. You want to deal with them both with one nail, maybe two. Just get rid of them, and you're good to go. Alright, so after dealing with the fiends and the ogres, you can use the Horn of Conjuring to bring in some doggies. And I'm gonna go right into here to deal with these knights and the death knight. Basically, the rot wires will serve as a distraction for you. Watch out for the knight that's behind this series of boxes here. I'll show you what you can do with those boxes in a little bit. First things first, I'm gonna get rid of these death knights. Got them down like that. And we can go right around here and very carefully try to jump into this area. Might take you a few tries, but anyways, let's go right into here, into the secret area. That'll give us quad damage. Our good friends, the Rottweiler, will distract the gremlins. At least one of them. Anyways, I'm going to just stand right here to activate more enemies. Yeah, if you try to grab the yellow armor, you'll wake up more enemies or have them teleport in even. Anyways, let's get rid of these, get rid of the boars, and we're good to go. We got the silver key, so let's get on out of here. But not before getting rid of these guys up here. Now let's really get out of here. Let's get rid of the knight and the death knights. Now that we've done that, I'm going to grab these shells. And I'm going to mosey back on over to where we were before. You might have seen that little area with the grates over there by the, um... Horn of Conjuring pickup spot. That just leads back to the area with the spawns. It's actually pretty deadly if you don't go there in the area, like, underwater first. Anyways, there's a spike mine there, speaking of deadly. And here are some more knights and a death knight. We'll just gun them all down. 
And these spike mines will try to chase you, but you know what? They aren't that bright. Anyways, right around here is a secret area that gives you the Mjolnir. And just to prove my point from earlier, this point, yep, that's the place where you pick up the proximity gun in the area where the spawns were. Anyways, let's continue on. This is a series of sick jumps. Not the sickest jumps, but eh, I practice a little bit. Anyways, into here we go. Check out this area. If you look to the left, you'll see two ogres. You'll have to fight them. And when you're doing that, step right here and you'll open up this area, which will allow you to go right here to get this secret 100 health. Now let's shoot this button to reveal a new area, which is right up here. And now let's go down into this new area and fight some enemies. Including, but not limited to, Knights, Roddies, and Boar. There we go. All good and dead. Now let's use a pentagram and blow up all these fiends in this area. There we go. Hop down to this part. Jib some more zombies. Please don't get knocked down before I can jib you. Grab the gold key. And then you can go for a swim down here, as long as the zombies are all good and dead. And look, we're back to where we were before with the drawbridge and everything. And now, if you want, you can grab the armor. I'm going to save it, actually, because I'm going to go back and grab the yellow one. Eh, trust me, I know. Um, we're nearing the end of the level. We only have 15 enemies, but this area can be a real kick in the balls. Well, not the one immediately ahead of us, but, well, maybe. If you open this door, you want to watch out. Because of that. Yeah, that's a, that's kind of a kick in the balls, but whatever. This guy's dodging like a pro. Let's get out of here. Deal with the rest of these losers. Whoops. Don't want to blow myself up too much now, do I? Whatever. We got this all straightened out for the most part. Yeah, push that brick in the wall, and you can get another secret with more yellow armor. Yeah, the reason I didn't grab that anytime sooner was because of the spike mine there. I never know what it'll do. Such a wacky thing. But anyways, when you're done with all that, you can go down here, push this button to open the door up where this place is, up the stairs. Now we're going to deal with a rather... cursed area, I'd say. First thing first, I'm going to kill all these shamblers before I even think about going towards this place. Now I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm going to push this button real quick, and let's get out of here. Oh, goodness. The explosions can damage you a bit. Or rather, a lot. <laughs> As you can see. But anyways, I think it's time to finally grab this thing. So let's get lifted up towards it, shall we? There we go. Alright, here's one of the reasons why I saved up all these uh, nails. Because the explosives aren't going to help us with dealing with the last two enemies. Oh well. Look at all these explosives they give us. What a tease. Come here, Shambler. Yeah, they, they just throw like five shamblers at the end. It's ridiculous, but whatever. We saved up some cells too, to help deal with them. And dealt with them we did. We are done. And there we go, Mortem's Keep. And with that, we are done with the second episode of Scourge of Armagon. And what an endeavor it is, huh? Well, yeah, that final level is kind of a kick in the balls, but you know what? If you can save your ammo, and use some other weapons aside from the nail gun for a good bit of it, you can probably handle it. Even if you just use like the rocket launcher and the shotguns, you can do this level pretty easily. Not too easily, but yeah, that last part is definitely a kick of the nuts, especially when you're trying to kill all the shamblers and you have to deal with the lightning zapping you and you have to turn that thing off by pressing that button. And when you do press that button, it's going to explode and potentially deal even more damage to you. 
It's uh, pretty bizarre. But anyways, we are done with this map, so let's read the text, shall we? After destroying the power generator, you pass beyond the gate of Moulton's Keep. A wave of nausea suddenly flows over you, and you find yourself cast out into a liquid void. You float lifelessly, yet aware, in a lavender sea of energy. After what seems like an eternity, you feel the presence of a diabolical intelligence. You are held helpless for a moment as your mind is open to that of Armagon, Quake's general and master of this realm, recognizing you as the one who foiled his attempt to conquer Earth. A hellish howl fills your mind and blots out your consciousness. When you awake, you find yourself on the shores of reality, but in a place and time unknown to you. Yeah, I had to break out the edgy voice, and I probably uh, flubbed the last line there by switching the two words, but you know what? It still works. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one, where we go into episode three where we uh, correct a few mistakes that we made before. Until then, I'll see ya when I see ya, so see ya.